Hey YouTubers, it's Makeup Loser here. Today's look is a pink and blacky smoky eye. It's very dramatic and I wanted to go big and dramatic today because I might be going out later but I might not. But this is what the look looks like from far away. As you can tell it's bold and dramatic and here's what the look looks like up close. You have black, pink, a white highlight and I did my inner corner with white and the bottom I put pink and black now I can get the good lighting somewhat so if you want to learn how to do today's pink and black smoky eye keep watching hey guys I'm back alright so a few things that you will need eye primer you can either use like the natural color or in this case for this big eye uh, you would want to use kind of like a black eye primer but I don't have any so I stuck with my cream you need that you need three or four different types of brushes um, I'm always using the Sonia Kasha collection so in case I never say it in a video that's what I'm using so you need a fluffy eyeshadow brush your liner brush blending brush or crease brush and kind of like a flat shader brush. This one's like very small compared to this one. This look is very intense and it's very complicated. And I hope you guys can do this look. And if not, well, hmm, sorry. So the first thing you want to do is apply your foundation and apply your concealer. I did all that already. And the next thing you want to do is apply your eye primer. Like I said, in either cream or black. And definitely put it underneath her eye as well, because we will be having kind of like a lot of color there. Okay, so we just got done finishing applying our eye primer. Now the next thing is grab your fluffy eyeshadow brush and grab a black eyeshadow. It can be matte or it can be sparkly. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm using the Victoria's Secret palette. So this is what my black looks like here. And we will be applying this almost all to the lid. You want to go kind of where your eyelid creases for now until we put the pink and then we blend and then we add more and it's just a lot of steps. Let's get started. Fix myself here. And by the way, if you want to see this hair tutorial, um, I'll probably be putting it up within the next few weeks. It's just a curly hair. I used a curling iron, and I hate curling iron, so in my tutorial, I'm going to use a flat iron instead, because it's a lot easier. So, anyway, back to whatever. Black eyeshadow. You just want to pat it on for now. Alright guys, so I totally forgot to do this. Um... I wanted my line to be really precise, so what I did was I grabbed a piece of tape, scotch tape, and I kind of put that right there, but, and I stuck it to where I wanted it to go, and I'm trying to get it as even as possible with my other eye. So... Hopefully that's even enough. Alright guys, I'm back. I'm sorry. I had to get rid of the black that was in the corner of my eye. And then I had to reapply some foundation. And then... Oh, that goody jazz. Now back to where we left off. Black eyeshadow. And you don't want to go all the way in the corner of your eye. Because you will be putting some white eyeshadow over there. Okay, now the next color I'm going to use is a pink. This is from Ulta. It looks like that's the top one. Now what you want to do with this is you want to get a little thing of water. I'm just using a water bottle cap. 
and I filled it up with water a little bit and with your flat brush kind of dip it in the water but be careful because you don't want it to get too wet but you want to be careful because you don't want to take off any of your eye primer and grab the pink and just you want to pat it on as much as possible my brush is really dry yeah, you this definitely is a little more of a advanced look and I apologize but I thought it was really cool because I was in the shower and I was like I wonder how I'm going to do my makeup tonight and when I thought of that I was like hmm maybe I should record this and lo and behold I am <laughs> you want to make sure you drag it out like that did so I gotta go back in with my blunt Now I'm wiping off my fluffy brush. Wait, there's no black on there. I'm going to take this pink again. Dry brush. You don't want to wet it this time. Go back over. Drag the pink out as much as you can. Now with your crease brush or blending brush. Blend just in the crease. Don't worry guys, we will be putting a lot more black on this eye. Grab your fluffy brush again, wipe off the pink, grab your black. Now I'm just kind of going in the crease with the black. So, take your fluffy brush, okay, and with a white eyeshadow, I'm again using Ulta. This is kind of shimmery, this is called Iceland. We are going to be using this as our highlight color. And drag it out where the pink and black are as well. And you want to go in the inner corner. Now you can take off your tape. And I have still some black down here from the mess up. So I'm going to go back with my foundation. I'm going to be using more white eyeshadow. Put it on there. And drag it out to the bottom. This is a very intense look. Great for a night out. You can wear this during the day if you want. Because obviously I'll be going to dinner looking like this now. And the white won't actually be all the way down there. I'll be cleaning it up a lot. Now, grab your flat shader brush and take the pink. Now grab your liner brush, take that pink color, and go back over top with it. Grab your black eyeliner. I'm using All May number 43. Ooh. Now, um, line your waterline. Take your black eyeshadow with your liner brush. Line your whole lash line. The black. Now, apply a little bit of black liner to your lower lash line. And 
take a smudger. I'm just using the end of my smudger from my pencil. So grab a smudger and smudge this all across your lower lash line. Okay, so right now it kind of looks like I have a black eye. So grab a Q-tip. Kind of twist right where the inner corner is, really. That way you can kind of get rid of that. Go back in with your liner brush. And right at the edge of the black. The pink. And I'm just going back over some of this with some foundation. Oh, it doesn't look so down there. <laughs> I'm taking some of the white, dragging it up, and not dragging it all the way out. Blush. I'm probably going to use this color right over here grab your blush brush Dip. Yeah, sorry guys put it on the apples of your cheeks now for lips I have no idea what color I'm going to use just yet. So for lips, I'm going to be applying this pink sparkly color right here. And then you can't tell. And then lip gloss. I'm going to take this pinkish right over here, this third one. And I'm going in very little with the lip gloss because it is kind of like a bright color and mascara I always forget to do mascara I'm so sorry guys uh, mascara I'm just using the Victoria's Secret I normally use um, Lash Stiletto by Maybelline but I fell in love with this And this is the finished look. So, like I said, um, this look is very hard, and it's more so for kind of like the more advanced people with makeup. But if you just want to try this, to give it a try, um, you should really do it because I know the first time I did it, it looked like I had the biggest black eye and practice makes perfect. So I strongly encourage you to try this look. And um, also, if you guys want, feel free to post a video response down below so I can see kind of what the look looks like on you and see how you all did. and. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you on Tuesday. <laughs> Alright guys, bye.